behind the scenes? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, um, it was fun. Uh, I, I have always, uh, uh, well, ever since he wrote in, in his Adams Family book, Steve Cox wrote, calling it the a Adams Bomb. <laughs> uh, I, 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 that that always bothered me. It, it wasn't a bad show uh, when you consider that, you know, some of the obstacles that were faced in doing it. But uh, I had a wonderful uh, time with it. And, uh, and, I, I, and I, I think it was a, a lot better show than Steve said it was. I, I thought there were a lot of very funny, wonderful things in it. And, uh, uh, and I enjoyed the, uh, that there were grown up, uh, <laughs> grown up uh, Adam's kids and not grown up Adam's kids. So there were two, weren't there two Wednesdays, weren't there? Yeah. It was I haven't like, seen it all the time. Wednesday Junior and Pugsley Junior are supposed to be your kids too. Yeah. Two, two, two more Wednesday and Pugsley, but I have to say for me it was like really weird to be in that outfit as a grown woman with little tiny braids because my hair was so no longer long and it was just really, really strange, but it was fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? Do you, do you remember much of that, Felix? Remember what? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, know, you have a problem with yeah, that? Yeah, I remember. I was there always, you know. Uh, I came in a little bit late on the show. But when we did a reunion, 77, which was a disaster, right? What was a disaster? I mean, it wasn't anybody. Have you been listening at all? <laughs> what, what, what's going on with you? Are, are you? are you having a problem with you? You know what, I haven't seen you for how long now? <laughs> a couple of weeks. Wait a minute, no. Anyway, two of those, two of the other, one of me. One, two jobs, right? You were two of them. I had a work come to think about I forgot about that guy. Yeah. Uh, there was another one. There was another new one. That's right. A new what? A usurper. That's right. Oh, a usurper. I thought you said a stripper. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say stripper. Well, what did you say? Usurper. Usurper. Oh, I forget it. Again, that's a big word for me, man. Why do you crack me up, Felix? I'm not going to crack you up. I want to see what's in it. Felix, Felix, you used to speak Italian. <laughs> what are you going to do? You know, you know, you should explain, you know, where you came from and everything. Uh, okay. I think that's very interesting. Felix, I, I was actually going to write a series for Felix one time. I don't. Did you know that? I was trying to write. I'm still waiting. <laughs> and, and he was going to play the lead detective in this uh, in this series that I was writing. What are you going to do? I'm waiting tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> can you call me in Orlando? Let me know. Uh, you no, know, I can tell you in person. Oh, no, you're leaving. That's this is for the last night. Yeah. Anyway, we're not answering questions right now. We're, uh, <laughs> we're trying to get reacquainted with one another. Uh, well, so, no, but I'm, I'm very, very fond of these two people. And not, not be, just because they're in the Adams family, but because I really like them. A lot both. And, and we always have fun when we, uh, the rare times when we are able to get together. You know, well, we had a lot of fun, you know, we right. had a lot of fun working together. Are you still in Las Vegas? Yes, I'm in Las Vegas. Yeah. yeah. You live in Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ah, well, I beg your pardon? Oh yeah, we could write a book. Maybe it's a good idea, actually. Uh, they, they, uh, three very different people. Uh, starting with Coogan. Coogan knew more about what had happened in Hollywood than anyone I ever knew. 
because he he started when he was just a, you know before he could do anything really he was in, the, in, in films and of course he, he worked on Chaplin's The Kid for a long long time and uh, it, you know it was like a couple of years I mean if you look carefully at the film you'll see a much smaller Jackie than in another part of the film uh, but. He knew all the stories about the scandals and, and whatever. And, and Jack was also a part of a huge story. Uh, I, 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 you're, uh, does everybody know about that? About Coogan? And he, Jackie Coogan at one time was the biggest star in Hollywood. Uh, by big, I don't mean, you know, he was still a kid, but, but he was a gigantic uh, star, uh, tremendously popular. Any movie he did made a fortune. And just before he was, uh, just before his 21st birthday, because that was the key, when you were 21, you took control of whatever had been put aside for you and so on. And uh, Jack and his father were in a terrible accident. His father was killed. Jack was badly hurt. Um, and his mother, they had separated. Mother and father had. And Jack's mother took all his money. And he ended up with a pittance, really, and uh, it was a big scandal, and Jack decided to sue, and the studio heads came to everybody and said, listen, you'll never work again in this town if you bring a case. And if you knew Coogan, nothing bothered him. He was he made up his mind to do something, he did it. And uh, he lost, and he couldn't work. And World War II came along and he was a pilot. And Jackie Coogan had more hours of night glider time than anyone in the world because he flew these gliders to, uh, mostly transporting troops at night in Burma, or what was called Burma then. And, uh, uh, and then he also suffered a uh, there was a crash at one point, and uh, it was a horrible crash, a horrible accident, 